Everything begins with light, the Big Bang creation theories, and the same is true for your renders. Lighting a 3D scene is no longer just about mastering classic techniques or memorizing theory. The tools you use now play a massive role in the final quality, speed, and consistency of your results. So let's look at some of the best lighting add-ons for Blender, starting with Light Wrangler. Light Wrangler introduces a few genuinely game-changing features to Blender. The standout is point-and-click lighting, where lights are created and aimed exactly where you click in the viewport. It also brings light textures and gobos, and these are exceptionally good, especially in reflections. For product renders, those light textures add depth, breakup, and realism without overcomplicating the setup. Next up is Light Studio, and the name says it all. This add-on is heavily focused on product rendering, giving you purpose-built light sources for this style of work. You get sharp, controllable reflections and intuitive tools for building reflection maps that look great both in glossy surfaces and in soft, believable shadows. While these add-ons will massively improve your lighting workflow, it's important to be realistic. They are not miracle workers. If you know nothing about lighting theory or basic techniques, your renders will still look bad. So if lighting is a weak spot, you need to fix the fundamentals first. For that, there are solid Blender lighting courses worth your time. The first is cinematic lighting, which is ideal if you're rendering for film or chasing a strong cinematic look. It focuses on sharp contrast, bold colors, and that blockbuster style mood, with around three hours of practical rendering techniques. The course leans heavily into cycles and night scene. If your focus is daytime scenes, and the EV engine, then EV realistic lighting and rendering is the better fit. It uses the latest versions of Blender and is taught by Creative Shrimp, who are widely known for producing some of the highest quality Blender-focused courses available. When light hits a camera lens, it produces glares and flares, and this flare add-on mimics that physical phenomenon directly in Blender. The flares are designed to react to real light sources in the camera's position, so they feel grounded instead of slapped on. They can be naturally obscured when objects block the light, which makes them blend into the scene instead of floating on top. Everything is customizable, subtle, or extreme, letting you dial in flares that enhance the shot without overpowering it. Next up are gobo light textures. Almost every scene benefits from gobos. These are shadows cast by objects that are not directly visible to the camera. Environments, landscapes, interiors, outdoor shots, night scenes, product renders, commercials, even motion graphics all rely on them more than you might realize. You can find plenty of Gobo libraries out there, and at first glance, many of them look the same, but quality matters. This collection stands out because the Gobos are animated like they are in the real world with natural movement and subtle variation. They also handle out-of-focus detail properly, avoiding the low-resolution look that instantly breaks realism. You get a large, high-quality library covering leaves, forests, abstract patterns, windows, grids, caustics, and more, usable across almost any type of scene. Next up is Leo Moon Light Studio, and this one is all about control. It lets you design your own HDRI in real time, directly inside Blender. You don't realize how important this is until a client asks for a reflection right there, slightly softer, or move just a bit to the left. That level of precision is almost impossible with traditional HDRIs. With this tool, you can place, shape, and adjust reflections exactly where you want them on the fly. For product rendering and client-driven work, this kind of flexibility is not just nice to have, it's essential. If you don't want to build your own HDRIs and just need high-quality, distinctive ones, the Global HDRI Collection might be exactly what you're looking for. With over 500 highly detailed HDRIs, this easily stands out as one of the strongest collections available. You get sharp reflections, soft shadows, hard shadows, cool blue tones, warm lighting, and everything in between, all curated in one place. It covers a huge range of looks, making it easy to match almost any scene or product style without hunting for assets. Every scene has different demands, and large outdoor environments rarely look good with HDRIs or simple sun and area lights. The lighting often lacks richness or scale, making the environment feel flat or underlit. For scenes like this, you need physical skies, systems built to handle lighting at a much larger scale. The first option is Pure Sky Pro, which focuses on giving you an all-in-one sky and atmosphere solution. It comes with sky and cloud presets, time of day controls, volumetrics, atmospheric fog, and animated clouds. 
Everything is centralized and easy to tweak, and it works in both EV and cycles. The second option is physical starlight and atmosphere, which tackles the same problem from a slightly different angle. It includes presets for atmosphere, customizable suns, stars, fog, and large-scale lighting controls. Like Pure Sky Pro, it supports both EV and cycles. Honestly, you can't go wrong with either of them. They both solve the core issue of large-scale outdoor lighting extremely well. And the final choice often comes down to preference rather than capability. It's almost a roll of the dice. Lighting can take many shapes, and in cities, it often comes from banners, screens, and signs. If you're building a vibrant metropolitan scene, this is the type of lighting that truly brings it to life. You can still mix in area lights, but visible light sources sell the art far more effectively. They give buildings purpose. This is a club, this is a restaurant, this is something functional, not just background geometry. Procedural Signs covers all of that with deep customization options that make city lighting feel alive, believable, and intentional. Usually HDRIs are just images wrapped around a mirror ball, and while the earth is a globe, our environments are not. That's why most HDRIs work only as light sources and never as actual environments. Polydome changes that by reshaping HDRIs to match real spaces. If it's a room, you can use rectangular tools to capture walls, corners, the ceiling, and the floor. For outdoor scenes, you can define the sky and ground separately with, you know, control over reflectivity to better fit the environment you're trying to sell. Again, different lighting scenarios call for different techniques. Studio lighting is its own discipline. Clean infinite backgrounds, carefully shaped reflections, controlled fall off, and purpose-built light presets. Trying to brute force this with generic lights usually falls apart fast. That's exactly where a Vera product light comes in. It focuses entirely on product style studio setups, giving you tailored light presets, reflection textures, and tools designed specifically for, for infinite backgrounds and controlled highlights. For pack shots and commercial renders, this kind of specialization makes a visible difference. You're not going to light underwater scenes the same way you light anything else. The requirements are completely different. Volume fog, caustics, light absorption, and god rays that actually feel like they're moving through water. Doing this physically accurate in most setups will destroy your render times. That's exactly what real-time underwater environment is built for. It focuses on fast, believable underwater lighting with volumetrics, caustics, and efficient god rays that don't bring your scene to a crawl. The downside is, that it's designed specifically for Eevee, but if real-time performance is the goal, that trade-off makes perfect sense. Not one to be left behind, here's my own pack, which includes a custom neon light collection. You get 50 unique neon lights designed to work straight out of the box, perfect for city scenes, signs, accents, and stylized lighting setups. But that's only part of it. The pack also includes my debris scatter tool, tornado generator, simple city generator, rocket generator, destroyed building generator, virus generator, and more. It's a growing collection of practical tools and generators meant to speed up scene building while still giving you creative control. If you don't want your render to look like a blender render, the camera itself needs to behave differently. Realism often breaks at the lens level, not the lighting. Lens Sim simulates real optical effects like chromatic aberration, lens distortion, and improved bokeh. It turns Blender's basic camera into something that behaves more like an actual photographic lens, adding subtle imperfections that sell it. And that's it for this list. All the links are in the description. See you in the next one.